what's going on guys, Anthrix here. So today I have a new election video for you, and it's going to be my up-to-date uh, 2020 Senate prediction. But before I get into that, I just want to take a moment to say, if this is your first time stopping by my channel, please remember to subscribe. Also, tap the like button on this video, and tap the bell icon when I post a video, you always get notified. Uh, yeah, so let's get into the video now. The 2020 Senate, I'm not going to really skimp around, I'm just going to get right into it. I think Democrats would win the state of Oregon. Republicans would win Idaho and Wyoming. Montana, I will come back to. Uh, New Mexico, I'd put in the safe column for now for the Democrats. Alaska will go to the GOP. South Dakota, Nebraska. Kansas, for now, I'll put in the safe column. If Chris Kobach is the nominee, I may need to revisit that one. We'll see. Oklahoma, I'd put safe. Texas will come back to. Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, they're all safe. Tennessee is safe. West Virginia is safe. South Carolina is safe. Alabama, I would actually put it in the safe column, to be honest. Whether it's Jeff Sessions or Tommy Tuberville, I'd put it in the safe column. I think Doug Jones, he pretty much knows. He's just, like, riding out the rest of his term now. He doesn't really have much left. Uh, the state of Illinois is safe. I would give the state of Virginia the safe, to be honest. I think it was Scott Taylor. I think he dropped out to run for his old house seat. And I really don't think there's too much, like, competitiveness going on in the state of Virginia for the Republicans. Delaware, New Jersey, Rhode Island, Massachusetts. They'll all go to the Democrats. Um, I think that's all the safe states I want to cover for now. So now the likely states. I would put... Actually, I'm going to... Yeah, I'll put Texas right now in the likely column for now. I think John Cornyn will overperform what Ted Cruz did. Cornyn's more popular than Ted Cruz is. Kentucky, I'd give West... I'd give um, Mitch McConnell, excuse me, I'd put that in the likely column as well. I don't really see in a very polarized election, I don't see Mitch McConnell getting ousted from the Senate. Sorry to any Democrats who want to see that happen, but I don't really see it happening. The state of Minnesota, for now, I'd put in the likely column. I think the presidential election will be more competitive. I just don't see it being too, too competitive in the Senate. Um, I would give... Actually, New Hampshire. New Hampshire, I'm kind of going back and forth between lean or likely. I mean, there's some good candidates on the Republican side, but don't really stand out too well. Like, Don Bolduck's good, but I'd give him the likely column for now in New Hampshire for a Gene Shaheen seat. Georgia, at large, I'd put in the likely column. And I think depending if it's Doug Collins or Kelly Loeffler, it's likely going to be a very close second election. So I'll I'll put it in the likely column for now, but that's one we definitely could see being revisited. And you know what? In Iowa, also put Iowa in the likely column as well. So that gets the Republicans to 49. The Democrats have 45. So the state of Montana, I'm putting this now in the lean column. The reasoning why it's so close is former Governor Steve Bullock announced he is going to run for the Senate seat. And as we know from John Tester back in 2018, Democrats can win the state of Montana. In fact, a, gov a Democratic governor was elected in 2016, the same year President Trump won statewide. So Montana can flip. It can vote for President Trump and then vote for a Democrat for Senate or governor or House. So it could definitely happen. So Steve Daines, the fact that he's the incumbent, I'll give him the slight advantage now in the lean column. But pay attention to Montana. I will say this also. In the past, I haven't really seen much of a path for the Democrats getting the majority in the Senate. If Steve Bullock is able to make that ra that race a toss-up, and we start seeing polls of Steve Bullock maybe winning there, it is extremely possible the Democrats flip the Senate. Which a few months ago seemed crazy, but now it's a real possibility. Also, Democrats in Colorado, I think there will be Cory Gardner. I'll put in the lean column for now. I mean, there's not really much I can say. Colorado's a... Swing state that's been increasingly trending blue. President Trump is not well liked. Cory Gardner's pretty much uh, supported President Trump on pretty much everything, but has spoken out on some things, but not enough to differentiate himself. Cory Gardner's stuck between this like very very difficult position on what to do, and I really don't see a situation around it in which he's able to get out and pull a win out here. But we'll see. A anything is possible. I mean, we have Trump as president, but Colorado right now, I'd say, goes to the Democrats. The state of Michigan right now, uh, I would give Gary Peters the narrow edge to hold on over John James for now. I think Michigan's going to be very close for Senate and for the president. Um, but for now, I'd give it to Gary Peters narrowly. 
The state of Arizona, this is one that I was going back and forth on a few times. I don't know how it's going to stay for now, but for right now, I'm putting Arizona in the like in the lean to tilt margin. I'm going to say lean for now. Martha McSally, I just I don't know what it is. She is just not that popular in the state of Arizona for some reason. She lost to Kirsten Cinema, and the polling data against Mark Kelly is showing the exact same thing as last time around. It's the exact same circumstances. I know President Trump will outperform her, and maybe that's enough to help her out. But to be quite honest right now, Martha McSally's not in the best position. Her fundraising numbers aren't as good as Mark Kelly's are. I would give Mark Kelly the edge to win this tendency in Arizona right now. The state of Maine, I will give Maine to Susan Collins in the lean column. Oh my god, that's a tongue twister. I'll give Maine to Susan Collins and put it in the lean column. Uh, say that ten times fast. Anyway, Susan Collins will win in Maine. I think it will definitely be one of her closer elections. However, I do think she has a narrow incumbency advantage this time around. Not as much as la- as the previous times because of how polarized things have become, but I do think she will be able to hold on to the state of Maine. Now, North Carolina, I saved to the end. North Carolina, I think it's going to be very, very close. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. It's going to be interesting to see if Tom Tillis. For some reason, incumbents don't really seem to have much luck in North Carolina. However, as the country is becoming more polarized, it is changing. I give North Carolina in the tilt column to Tom Tillis, doing just enough to narrowly edge out a win. So with that, my Senate prediction will be the Republicans lose one seat It'll be 52 to 48, narrow majority in the Senate. Democrats pick up Colorado and Arizona, and Republicans pick up Alabama. So thank you so much for watching. Again, please remember to like and subscribe. Tap the bell icon to always get notified when I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.